Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Sunday cook with me, a Sunday dinner cook with me. And I'm gonna be making barbecue chicken, so good, homemade mashed potatoes, corn, and some croissant rolls. So I'm really, really excited. And then we're gonna sit down, enjoy some American Idol, and yes, enjoy family time. If you're new, my name is Tiffany and this is Thrifty Tiffany and welcome to my channel. I hope you stay subscribed and hit that bell button. And all my current subscribers, I love you guys so much. And I hope this is some inspiration for some other Sunday dinners. This is gonna be a quick Sunday dinner, not too fancy, just some good old, good old barbecue chicken, y'all. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Love you guys. All right, so to start uh, Sunday dinner, we have our meat here, which I am using what I have on hand, and you can use whatever cut of meat that you have on hand, legs, breast, thighs. Um, I got tenders. I got a large pack. This pack was actually only $5.68, so I kind of just get what's cheap <laughs> to feed a lot of people. So these tenders work really good. Um, I also got potatoes. I got parsley and I got this Memphis barbecue seasoning I got from Dollar Tree. I love this stuff. So I'll put this on first, the chicken, and then I love this Kraft Original um, barbecue. I love this barbecue sauce and I get that at Dollar Tree as well. Got some butter, cream cheese, that is for my mashed potatoes. Olive oil, I have my frozen super sweet corn. Um, an onion, I might put onion with the barbecue just to flavor it. I am gonna use an iron skillet, so I'll start it on the stove top, end it in the oven. Love doing that. Um, so I got my two pots here. This is for the corn, this is for the potatoes. And then over here, I have my um, baking tray already ready to put the croissant rolls that I get from Dollar Tree. Absolutely love these Ellie's uh, croissant rolls. They're so good, and you get 10 mini in here. So we'll heat all of those up in the oven and then coat it with a little bit of butter. So yes. All right, so we're gonna get started. This is an over, overview of the items that we're gonna use. And now to get started, the first thing, we're gonna go ahead and get that heating up. We're gonna start with the chicken, get it heating up, um, get the pan warmed up, and we're gonna go ahead and add some water to our pot. Okay, y'all, so I'm just gonna add water to the pot. Of course, however much water. <laughs> this is just for the potatoes. Just fill it up halfway, however many. I'm using five potatoes. I usually do uh, one potato for each of the person here. So there's four people here. And then I do one extra, always. Just so maybe some leftovers. Uh, maybe somebody, a double helping, which could be cash. He loves mashed potatoes. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn that water on to get it heating up. Um, so let's get that started. Hope everyone is having an okay Sunday, enjoying it with family. I know a lot of us are in the house. Also for the corn, I gotta get some water started for the corn. This is a steamable bag, so I'm wondering, do I, should I? I might actually steam it in the bag, y'all. I might just take a shortcut. Usually I like to cook it on the stove, but it says right here, microwave uh, steams in bag. So I might steam it and then add butter, salt, and pepper at the end. Um, so yeah, I might do that. We'll go ahead and put that in the microwave and then we'll go to it when it's time. Cause that's gonna be one of our last things that we do. Um, let's see, next we're gonna, while that's heating up, we can go ahead and peel the potatoes. Let me get the peeler. I'm gonna peel those potatoes. I've already rinsed them off, they're still wet on one side. Let me get a napkin. Also, we'll probably caramelize some onions with the barbecue chicken just to flavor it really good. Um, so I'm just gonna start peeling these potatoes. If y'all hear the kids in the background, the boys are playing a video game, so they're kind of loud. American Idol comes on tonight. Who watches American Idol? I absolutely love American Idol, y'all. And I can't believe Katy, Katy Perry is pregnant. That's so crazy. That's so cool. I love all the stories that come with American Idol. It's just a fun, nice little family show to watch. And I also like to watch Naked and Afraid. It's kind of crazy, but I do like that. They always have new, new um, shows that come on on Sunday night. So excited for those. 
hopefully this will get you away from what's going on. Hopefully take a minute, watch this video, and it'll get your mind off of what's actually going on in the world right now because it's kind of scary. But, so we are peeling. Let me move this so you can see a little bit better. There we go. I'm just peeling it on this napkin right here. Just using my good old peeler. Let me turn this down a little bit. And actually, I need to go ahead and salt the water. Let me salt the water over here for the potatoes. Season the water really good. I love homemade mashed potatoes. Like, I love them. It's good old comfort food. That's what we need right now, some good old comfort food. I love barbecued chicken. I would make mac and cheese too, but we had that the other, so I'm like, let me do something that's not, I don't wanna do two starches. Cash wanted mac and cheese. I'm like, let's do mashed potatoes and corn because we don't need two starches. And y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I'm coming down with something and it's scaring me, but it feels like I have, al I have allergies really, really bad. Like me, Cash, and Kaya. Cayman doesn't have any allergies. Me, Cash, and Kaya get it really bad. Kaya was sick, as you guys have seen on my other haul. Um, she was sick with her allergies, with, you know, all up in her face, like nose, throat, itchy. It was itchy, not hurting. So, um, she was going through that, what, last week? And now I feel like it's attacking me. It's not, I don't have any problems breathing or anything like that. I don't have any fever. I just kind of feel like my throat, it's like a lump in my throat. And I just kind of feel like my allergies are attacking me. And it's so scary because all this going out, you know, you're like Googling every symptom and checking yourself for fever to make sure you don't have a fever. That was the main thing. That's how I knew Kaya. Kaya's was allergies because she didn't have any fever. Um, now, if it gets to fever, then we gotta question it. But it's kind of scaring me, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I'm staying in the house. I'm not going anywhere. Staying with the kids. I just pray it's just allergy. I've been taking some allergy Zyrtec and stuff. Hopefully that helps. potatoes cut hope that wasn't too boring hope I talked y'all through that um, again grab you grab you a cup of coffee cup of tea um, we're gonna cut these up so we can um, I don't know why I cut them that small not like I'm making potato salad <laughs> go ahead and put these in the water You don't have to do them so small, especially when you do uh, um, mashed potatoes. When you do potato salad, you got to cut them kind of all even with each other, but not for mashed potatoes. I hope I have a big enough pan right here, but I don't think that I do. So then we're going to put the olive oil in the pan to start the chicken and I'll come back after I put these in there. Okay, so I have the chicken tenders right here. I've already washed it, put it in here. Now I'm going to add the uh, Dollar Tree Memphis style barbecue seasoning. I always do a dry seasoning first before I start cooking it. Don't do too, too much. I mean, you want to do a good bit, y'all, but not too, too much. You add a little bit of olive oil in here just so it'll stick to each other. Just a little bit, just a little olive oil. Mix it around. And the reason you don't want to do too, too much because you are going to add barbecue sauce at the end. You can, I'm going to add some um, black pepper, but don't add any salt. This Memphis style barbecue has salt in it. So if you want to add anything to it, you can add like pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, whatever, whatever you want. And this is just regular black pepper. Um, and my skillet is really nice and hot at this point. Really nice and hot. So what I'm first gonna do is put olive oil and onions. 
I, this is gonna sit for a minute and like marinate a little bit. Um, again, you have you can definitely see the seasoning, but don't do too. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. Paprika gives it color and good taste. And this is what I'm using. Kind of gives it that smoky, that good, good flavor. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and then um, we're gonna start on this onion. So let me wash my hands real quick and wash this little area. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut the onion. Basic, it doesn't have to be anything special. Um, doesn't have to be however you want it because it's just honestly just gonna cook with the chicken to give it some flavor. Um, onion brings out flavor in everything. I love it. And um, we're gonna add some olive oil. You could do olive oil or butter, whichever one you want in your pan. Let me lift that up now for you guys. But this pan is nice and hot. Oh yeah. Y'all think it's about time for a new one? Look at my Dollar Tree mitten. <laughs> Look at my mitten. Do y'all see this? And I have more. This one I just keep using and I need to get another one. I don't know why I still have it, y'all. Oh, that's hot. She's hot and she burnt me. She is hot. Just throw them in. salt and pepper or you can just kind of leave it because the barbecue seasoning on the chicken is going to flavor everything. I'm going to put this pan up. Only thing about this um, iron still is every part of it gets hot. All right, so I'm gonna let these get translucent, get really nice, and then I'll come back. Okay, so you get to where your onions look like this. And then again, I'm just gonna put the, um, scoot them to the side a little bit and then start putting the chicken on. It's had time to marinate a little bit. See, they're plenty seasoned, plenty seasoned. And then we're gonna even season it more with the barbecue sauce. Smother them with the onions if you want to. Like just put some over it like that while it's cooking. Give it some of that onion flavor. Put it over there. Just let it sit for a minute. Go ahead and preheat your oven to about, you could do 375. 
um, just so because we're gonna cook we're gonna cook it on the stove first and then we're gonna put it in the oven to finish it off um, to, like glaze it you know make it really good and marinate it with the barbecue Also at this stage, I like to put parsley, which you guys can use that on everything. I love parsley, I love the color that it adds. Just sprinkle parsley on it. There you go. Our mashed potatoes are still over here cooking. You see them boiling right there. Still cooking, still boiling. Alright, so we're going to let it cook like this for a little bit, and then I'll come back once I flip it. Alright, y'all, so we're going to flip these. Put a minute. Let's we'll see when it comes up easy. That means it's ready. Ooh, look at us sear. So when it comes up and it doesn't stick, that means it's, it's seared enough. These look so good, y'all, with the onions. Look at this. She is a beauty. Look at that perfect sear. That's what you want right there. And this cast iron skillet does it so amazing. These are definitely worth the money. And you can use it for almost anything. Cornbread, anything, cinnamon roll, anything that you want. Okay, so we're gonna sear it on this side. Then we're gonna add our barbecue and then we're gonna put it in the oven just to kind of finish it off. But you want a nice sear before you put it in the oven. All right, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys. Look how she is looking now. Send me some good barbecue chicken. Look at that sear. And those grilled onions. Oh, man. So good. Okay, y'all, the potatoes are almost there. Looks like they're getting kind of soft. Looking good. All right, y'all, so I just put the corn on. It's a steamable bag. So I just put that on, kind of a little cheap for Sunday dinner, but I'll put it on five minutes. So we'll get that out, put butter, salt, and pepper on it. Okay, y'all, so at this point, it's pretty much cooked, but probably not all the way through. So now we're gonna add our barbecue. It's got a nice sear on both sides. So we get our barbecue, and our onions are nicely glazed. Um, y'all, I'm telling you, this, this barbecue is so good. And you can usually find it at Dollar Tree. If not, it's at your local grocery store, but I love this stuff. Just gonna put it over this. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna get my little brush. Get, get your little brush. Wipe it over. Actually, turn it. I'm gonna turn it off at this point, and it's, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Oh, this smells so good. And then we will flip it. Look at those barbecue chicken, y'all. Pour a little bit more to get on the bottom of it. A little bit goes a long way once you cook it. All right, we're gonna put her into the oven to bake. I got it on about 375. Um, and again, it's basically just a cook it off, let it marinate together. She just went in the oven. Now we're gonna work on that. I'm also gonna go ahead and put these Ellie's rolls out here. I'm gonna cook them all. It's 10 mini rolls. Y'all, these are definitely a thumbs up for me from Dollar Tree. They are so good. So good. You just have to brush it with a little bit of butter. So that's just ready for when it's time for them. The corn is about to bust. She's almost ready. It might not have been five minutes, but she is about to bust. Like I said, we're gonna turn the potatoes off, move them over here, and I'm about to drain them. Let 
I'm gonna take them over here. Okay, y'all, we're about to drain our potatoes. And then right after I drain them, I like to add salt and pepper to them. So I always uh, sprinkle the salt and pepper. Again, I'm using this salt from Dollar Tree. And pepper. I can get it open. This pepper, also from Dollar Tree. Give them a good pepper. I love the pepper on my potatoes. All right, then we're gonna move them back to the pan. Okay, so we're gonna move our potatoes that we just drained back to the pan. So we can butter them, sour cream, cream cheese, milk, add all our things that we need to add. That made a full thing of potatoes. So at this point, of course, you gotta add some butter. That's a lot of potatoes. I'm gonna add, okay. what is this, about two tablespoons. Yep, I picked it up with my hands. Two tablespoons of butter. I might add more in a little bit, but then I'm gonna add some. Cream cheese is the key to some good mashed potatoes, y'all. Cream cheese and sour cream. So I'm gonna add some good old cream cheese. Depending on how much I make, um, that depends on how much cream cheese. Sometimes I do half. I'm just using what I have left. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of sour cream. Sour cream will overpower the flavor, so definitely don't do too much. Just do like, you know, a little bit to make it creamy. Then you can add heavy cream or whole milk or evaporated milk. I'm gonna use some good old healthy, oh gosh, oh, some good old healthy heavy cream, <laughs> just a little bit of it, and then I might add some more milk to it. Again, I'll take my good old, don't, this is my advice, do not use a mixer on mashed potatoes. You make them waxy. So don't use a handheld mixer, use a masher. Um, you don't want them waxy, you don't want them, like, yeah, I'm gonna have to add some, probably some, some regular milk. I can already tell I need regular milk or some more heavy cream. Show you what they're looking like, looking beautiful. And then you just taste it, keep tasting it, because it might need more salt, pepper, it might need more cream cheese, because I like mine creamy. Sometimes I've added a little bit of mayo. Mayo is like a trick, but I have, I'm not doing that this time, I'm doing cream cheese. Let's taste it, let's give it a taste and see what we need. Her. I'm not gonna dip back in here, y'all. We're gonna taste it. Mmm. Mmm. I think. Oh, she's good. I think a little bit more of cream cheese. I don't know. She's pretty good. Let's see. I might add, again, I just use Kroger Graham cream cheese. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Um, again, not too much. I cut about this much off of the block, this little bit, just to add some more. Smush her down in there. And that's good. She had enough salt, pepper, everything. That was good. So those are done. 
barbecue's in there. All we got left to do, the corn's, I gotta put it in a bowl and add butter and salt and pepper. I think that it's getting dark in here, but I'm trying to give you, you guys a good angle. So I just got my corn, it's already cooked. It's steamed. And then we're just gonna add it to this bowl. Whew, I love corn, y'all. I know it literally has no nutritional value, but I love corn. I'm gonna add the last little bit of butter from that. Um, so that's done. Then we're gonna add some salt. A little salt. Pepper. And we gotta let the, um, let the, I'm gonna use this, let the butter melt in there. So this is ready. I can stick it in the microwave and it's ready for when, when it's ready to serve. Let that butter melt, it's melting. That's about two tablespoons of butter. Just like I put two tablespoons in the mashed potatoes. Um, yeah. All right, so it looks like the corn is done, y'all. Let the butter melt all in there. But good old super sweet corn. I'm gonna put it in, back in the microwave just to sit until you need it, in case I have to heat it up before. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna put these in the oven with the barbecue chicken, because I'm sure the barbecue chicken is done. So I'm gonna put these in. Oop, let me scoot it. I'm gonna scoot it and make it some room. Yeah, that barbecue chicken's done. We're gonna put this in there and then those will come out at the same time and we'll be good for Sunday dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the chicken. Show y'all up close what it looks like. This is it right out of the oven. It's all ready. I'm so excited, this looks so good. I love when onions are like that. Oh, they're so good. There's. And we're just waiting on the rolls now. Just took the rolls out. Just gonna add some butter to the top of them. The butter on them. Hold on, let me do this. Okay, y'all, all the rolls are done and buttered and now I'm gonna fix the plate. The mashed potatoes are nice and done. And the corn. All right, so here's an overview. Homemade mashed potatoes, barbecued chicken with onions, corn and rolls. There she goes.